Welcome to the Dental Reputations Reputations Dashboard. We're here at the main Dashboards Overview page. This page gives you an overview or a big picture of what's happening just for the particular day. Um, so as you can see here, uh, this, this uh, dental practice, Bayview Smiles, has a 69% uh, presence score online. Uh, you know, our goal here is to obviously get that at uh, 99 to 100. Um, what this is telling us is that zero listings found online have 100% accurate information. Um, it's telling us that 20 listings have been found with possible errors. That could be an error with the website, an address, an outdated phone number, or the business name is out is uh, not correct. And out of the the main sources that it believes you should that the software believes you should be in, there are nine sources where uh, this dental practice is missing from. So you know the goal would be that uh, to get this to zero, we we want this dentist dental practice to be everywhere. Um, this here is showing us the review big picture: uh, seventy six percent positives, uh, three percent neutral, eleven percent negative, and then eleven uh, no no comments. So they left a review, but they didn't leave a comment. Uh, there was one mention from uh, yes or from September tenth. This is to the to the mentions. Here is the uh, competition big picture. We'll go into all these a little bit deeper. Um, some stuff that happened today regarding this dental practice uh, looks like the, the, on their website they updated some images. Um, they were in some directories, some online mentions. So it's just an amazing place to aggregate and pull in all the information about your dental practice, whether it's reviews, uh, ratings, online visibility. Did you get a ripoff report? It would pull that in. So let's dig a little deeper in. So let's take a look at the visibility now that we talked about earlier here. Um, and let's see what's going on with this particular practice. Here we can see that one of the major problems here is that they're not in Bing local. Um, that, you know that that's the top three: Bing, uh, Google, and Yahoo. So they don't have a listing for their dental practice in Bing. So that's huge. So that's why we see this X here. Um, this triangle, this hazard symbol, is telling us that it's found in Google. The dental practice is found using this information, but there's an error. So we can take a look to see exactly what the error is. Um, so it looks like the it's just a simple error here. Um, it's trying to find the name Bayview Smile Design. And when Google Plus is displaying it as Bayview Smile Design Complete Dental Care, so that's a minor issue. Um, we would simply click Verify Correct that that's good. Um, not all of them are that easy. Like I said, sometimes there's errors with a phone number. Uh, let's take a look and see what's happening in Yahoo. It looks like it doesn't like this phone number in the website, so we would have to dial a little deeper and see if we could correct that. Um, but as we scroll down, you can see all of the major review sites, directories, vitals. It's saying that there's uh, that this practice has no vital uh, presence. Um, Yelp, it found it found a score, but it's uh, there's no website there in Yelp, so that's huge. Um, you know, you want to have that Yelp website pointing from Yelp to your dental practice, so we would need to get in there and fix that. This uh, what we do is full service, so we would do all of this on your behalf. We would work with uh, you know your manager or or your uh, general practitioner to help uh, dial us in and get us on the right track so we could fix all of this. Here's some directories, 411.com, doctor.com, health grade. They don't have a health grade. Um, they don't have a doctor.com. Um, they're found in local, uh, but there's issues. So we would need to get in there and fix all of this. Super pages found an issue, and it looks like, um, yeah, it's some, some serious issues there. We would need to get in there and fix those. Um, it doesn't. It has not found a Facebook presence. I know we're in the process of setting up the Facebook presence. Um, there's no Foursquare, LinkedIn, and Twitter. So as you can see here, this is uh, the the main places you should be online. Um, this will help you. You know, obviously get spread the word about your practice. If you have any damaging um, items out there, bad ripoff reports, bad ratings and reviews, by correcting, fixing, and adding your practice to these, it helps push down those negatives while obviously uh, uh, garnering you much more online visibility. So this here is. Is the mentions? Uh, I'm sorry, the visibility in the listings area area of the dashboard. The next thing we're going to take a look at are the citations. These are also uh, mentions on sites. So you can see that there was a mention of this practice in the Dental Benefit Club. Um, there was a, a mention in the Angie's List, um, DentalPlans.com. So you know your office will have full access to this dashboard. So if your dentist wants to take a look and see exactly you know what everyone is saying about uh, the practice, this is a great, great dashboard to get in here and dig deep and see exactly what's being said. Um, there's so many things that this pulls from, and it pulls every five minutes. It's pulling data data in, so you can see exactly what's happening um, and, and seeing exactly what's happening online, what people are saying. Uh, the most popular area of the of the dental dashboard is the review section. So right now, what it's doing doing is it's pulling in. Uh, a exact moment of all the reviews, all of the ratings from all of your review sites, and it's the big picture here is a 37 review, 37 reviews, four with no star. So it's telling us that out of all the review sites, this practice is on 28 are five star. Uh, there's no three or four stars. I'm sorry, there's one three star. 
one two star, three one stars, and then there's four with no ratings but comments. Um, as you scroll down, you can see the trend cloud, and you can also see the actual reviews and where they came from. So this here, this has been the best experience, and this came from Yelp. Um, it's very powerful as with one click of a button, we can dial in just a city search and see exactly what's going on there. So we can see that they have an average 3.5 out of 5 with 22 reviews. Let's take a look at uh, Yelp, see how they're doing. They have a perfect uh, five-star presence there. All five are positive reviews. So that's what you want to see. Um, so let's go back to city search real quick. And uh, with one click of a button, we can see the positives here. Or if we just want to see the negatives, let's take a look. And it'll import and aggregate all of the negatives so that you could print this out and show your, you know, your team uh, to see exactly where, where trouble has been in the past. This is one of our most popular sections and where uh, our team and, and obviously your, your team will spend a lot of time looking and, and seeing what's going on. Uh, here we can see some mentions online, uh, 1-800-DENTIST. Um, these are some directories that they were in. No blog comments. Um, it looks like there's a couple images floating around. So these are more imports. The next section we'll take a look at is the social section of the dashboard. And, and what it's going to do is it's going to pull in any mentions online. So it doesn't look like much online activity uh, social-wise. Um, if we click social statistics, what the software is going to do is it's going to compare the social accounts to the industry standard. Um, and we're just getting this practice set up in the social arena, so it's not much action going on. We can see that uh, this particular uh, pr so, uh, uh, practices, Facebook only has 16 likes versus the industry standard of two, 266. So we're constantly striving to get you above uh, you know, what, what's to be expected online. One of the very pop popular pages here is the competition tab of the Dental Reputations dashboard. Um, we put in three words that this dentist is uh, competing for, cosmetic dentist, dental implants, and general dentistry. And we put in their three major competitors, and you can see that our client here is the yellow. So they are definitely uh, doing a great job here online. Um, you can see that uh, TLC Dental has 26%. Uh, Bayview Smiles has 21, and I'm sorry, the yellow is uh, their competitor, Bayview Dental, so uh, they, they're definitely winning this here. Uh, Bayview has 20% for dental implants, 13% uh, for general dentistry. Um, once their social uh, platforms get a little more powerful, we'll start to see uh, specifics here. And we can also put in the competitors, Facebook, Twitter, and Foursquare, and we can compare their social profiles versus their competitors. We can see if there's uh, trends going on, if their competitors are getting more hits, more likes, more check-ins, uh, then you know the dentist uh, would need to dial in their strategy uh, to compete a little bit better. And the last thing here is the reports. Every couple days, our software sends out a reports, as well as our team, to let the uh, practice know exactly what we're doing here, how we're improving their reputation, um, what new uh, reviews have hit online. Um, so as you can see, it's extremely powerful. And you're going to get these in your email box to show the dentist or to show the uh, manager there. Um, you can see how we're doing and see how things are improving. Um, as you can see here, there's 54 citations. Um, they've gotten 13% new reviews since we've been on board. So we hope you see ex how powerful this dashboard is in conjunction with the uh, our, our patient review platform. Um, we talk about that a little bit more on some other uh, of our other pages. So we'd love to implement this for your dental practice. And please, if you have any questions, give us a call. We're here at dentalreputations.com. We'd love to help you out. Thank you.